The model train is an example of a problem where the students are required to use the method draw a diagram. In all problems, we must read through the problem and understand it first. Jenny's model train is set up on a circular track. There are six telephone poles evenly spaced around the track. It takes the engine of her train 10 seconds to go from the first pole to the third pole. How long would it take for the engine to go the entire distance around the track? So now we must plan out our problem. I'm going to read through it and I see that it is a circular track. That's a key piece of information for me to use. Next I notice that there are six telephone poles and they're evenly spaced. Another important piece of information is that it takes her train 10 seconds to go from the first pole to the third pole. And finally I need to understand what the question is asking. I need to know how long it would take her engine to go the entire distance around the track. So we're at a point now where we need to actually try to solve the problem. So uh, keeping in mind that it's a circular track and there are six telephone poles, I'm going to draw the six telephone poles in a circular shape as I'm doing in the picture. I know they're evenly spaced, but in our diagram it's not that important here. And it takes the engine of our train 10 seconds to go from the first pole to the third pole. This is important information because I now can break it down and determine that it will take 5 seconds for her train to go from pole 1 to pole 2 and 5 seconds from her, for her train to, take, to go from pole 2 to pole 3. Keeping that in mind, I can continue filling in this information and in the end I should be able to determine how much time it will take for her train to go around the entire track. If we look, there are one, two, three, four, five, six spaces her train must travel. Each of them is five seconds, so it will take her train 30 seconds to go around the entire track. It's always a good idea to go back through, read the question again, and double check your math before you're finished.